Monday Night Blues, we got a cure for that. There are five games on the gate tonight and we'll go through all of them. My name is Andreas Hachinka and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We we'll begin our journey in Cherry Pavets where Sibir meets Everstar at the tail end of their road trip. Homeside strikes just under 7 minutes in as they can go on a power play. Vladislav Kadalas got his second of the year. He's got 4 points on the season now. Later in the period, Sibir have an excellent chance to tie it up, but Vladimir Pervushin hits the pad and the bar on the shorthanded breakaway. With just a couple of minutes remaining in the frame, Vladislav Provolnev takes a hard shot from Santa Rice, misses the net, but it almost goes in of Harry Sattery. Full play almost paid off. Sibir bring it back to even with a power play goal of the round, six minutes into the second period. Yurki Yakipaka slings it home from on top of the circle. Severstal gets their lead back 30 seconds into the third. Provolnev puts the puck on net and Jack Import Indrzev Abdul tips it in. That's his first in the game and that's the game winner. Sibir lose three straight on the road. 2-1 is your final. We move on to Minsk Belarus now, where Dynamo play house to Saw like you live. The house build an early two goal lead in this one. Former Prince Albert Raider and Washington Capitals prospect Alexi Protas converts on a power play for his first career KHL goal. And a little over a minute later, Shane Prince roofs it past all star Yuka Metzl on the submarine rush. 2 0 Dynamo now. But Salah bring you back to even before the period expires. Marcus Granlund finishes up the breakaway to make it 2-1. Rookie Shakir Mohamadola picks up an assist on the marker. And a few minutes later, Pato Kakirkov cuts off a 4 pass and beats them in a court with a quick zinger. It's a 2-2 tie for 20. Salvat full in front mid through the next period. Granlund scores the second of the night and third of the year. His compatriot Timo Hardikainen gets his second assist of the game. They improved the margin in the last minute of the period with a power play goal. Mikhail Varabyov finishes up the neat pass and play. Dynamo make things interesting with a goal and a man advantage meter for the third. Artem Timkov is the second of the season, but that's as close as they can get. Salad remain unbeaten on this road trip. 4-3 is the final on this one. We make our next stop in Moscow, where a rivalry game takes place. Dynamo go up against Spartak. Both sides are looking for the first win of the year. It takes them a while to break the ice. Halfway through the first period, Robin Gonzalez splits the D skates to the net and shoots, stopped by Ivan Bacharov. Late in the frame, Andrei Sergeyev lets her rip from on top of the circle. Excellent glove save is made by Nikita Bispalov. The blue and white get on the board 11 minutes into the second. Vladislav Yupremov one times the pass to Spalov set up by Igor Zaitsev and Andrei Alexeyev. Dynamo carries the 1 0 lead into the third period, but then Spartak shocked them with a short handed market to tie it up. Mitri Vishnevsky scores on his former team. Soon after that, Yuri Lattera sends it in with a nifty clapper on a power play and Sparta get in the lead. Great deed by Neil Yuse. Dynamo get close to get in the equalizer, but Daniel Terrasa pieces the net from a perfect position. Looks like Ms. Powell had a piece of it too. The red and white bag it with the empty netter. Lucas Rido hits the wide open 4 by 6 and that's game. Sparta get their first victory of the season. 3-1 is the final. Next up, Balashika. The Hawks face Amor tonight. The Tigers still miss a lot of their key players in Avangard show no mercy on Bob Hartley's birthday. 10 minutes into the game, Irzy Sjakic drops it in the right circle and Rick Boucher sends it in for his third of the year. Amor level is late in the period with a power play tally. Vladislav Foshenyan redirects his twin brother's assistant to the net. 
But then it's all avant-garde. 26 seconds into the next period. Pavel Zidinov buries the rebound to make it 2-1. A little later, Rick Boucher plays it to the high slot on a power play and bombs away. Oliver Kaski has his first goal on the K. What a shot. Two minutes later, Avangard still on a power play. Denis Zernov tries to pass it to the far post and Sergei Shimakov jams it home. Evgeny Kisarov's night is done after that as Evgeny Alikin steps onto the ice. Soon after that, Sergei Talchinsky is credited with his first and avant-garde jersey. Alexander Kokochev has the only assist on the play. Less than a minute later, Shumakov goes for his favorite Michigan move and this time it works. Shumakov has two on the net and three on the season. The viewers to show some life later in the period as Alexander Gorshkov buries his own rebound to make it 6-2. But Avangard finished the job with two more goals in the third period. If the second bangs it past Alekina Faceta by Corbin Knight. And then Billy Paka hits the twine while Shumakov and Kirill Semyonov get the helpers. All systems work for Avangard as they win the third in a row. 8 2 is your final. Let's go back to Moscow for the final game of the day. Red Army do battle with Boris. Early in the opening frame, Andrei Lektionov takes a shot from the high slot and it rings off the crossbar. Just a hair off target. No matter, a few minutes later, Konstantin Akulov and Maxim Mamin put together a great give and go play and Mamin finishes it off. Beauty! A few shifts later, Red Army produces a very similar play and this time it's Andrei Svetlakov who gets it over the goal line. Brandon Leipzig gets his first career KHL point with that assist. Boris get a goal back before the intermission. Nikita Mihailis roofs it past Alexander Shovichenkov and gets his third of the season. Red Army restores the two goal margin with a goal on a two man advantage. Anton Slapashev scores his second of the year as former Vancouver Canuck Nikolai Goldobin gets his first point in the K. That's all they needed. Red Army beat Boris 3 1 on home ice. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow as we're going to have four more games for you to enjoy, including videos against Dynamo Riga and Torpedo vs. SKA St. Petersburg. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.